Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Raven Maureen and I am a sewing vlogger. So today I'm gonna share with you the DIY sweater dress that I made out of this pattern. It's crazy, right? So um, let me just explain my thought process with this. So one, this is Simplicity 9136. It is for woven fabric. And I didn't necessarily look at the girl on the cover or anything like that. What I was really, really drawn to was the raglan sleeves. Um, I have like naturally broad shoulders. So for me, a raglan sleeve is always like top drawer because it just slender slenderizes me, if that's a word, or it makes me look more slender in the shoulder area, which I really prefer. And so I made this sweater dress. I didn't really know where I was going with it. I did record the tutorial, which you're about to see. To be honest with you, I was just going with it and I was fitting things as I was going and it, it's just a natural video of my progression with this pattern. So at the end of the day, I gotta tell you, I do love my dress. It's something that I can wear to church or teams meetings, whatever you wanna call it. And I definitely encourage you to look at your patterns differently from now on. I bet you won't look at this pattern the same way or anything else. And the next thing I wanna tell you is that this fabric is like the yummiest fabric ever. So let's start from the top. It's from Joanne Fabrics, which, you know, is a big box store. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'll get the knit fabric. I actually bought it online and had it like, you know, set up for pickup at my local store. And I was sure that the fabric would pill in the wash and whatnot, but I put it on a delicate cycle. I put it on the low um, setting for uh, the dryer and I have no pills, I have no rubs or anything like that. It's still just like how it came out of uh, the bag from the bolt at the store. So this is some really yummy fabric. I told my friend earlier that I may actually buy more of this fabric just to hoard. Like I know I'm on my, you know, sewing my stash thing, but I, I kind of just need this fabric just to like have. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. <laughs> And if you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Enjoy. So the first hack that we're going to do for this pattern is that we are going to extend the sleeve to a full length sleeve. So the pattern calls for a three quarter inch length sleeve. I am extending it to a full length uh, sleeve. So I measured my arm off camera and according to that measurement, um, I measured down to 24 inches from the top of the pattern piece. And so now I am going to use this dotted paper and I'm going to retrace the entire pattern piece. Um, that way it's nice and neat and I will have a complete arm, full length arm piece should I want to do this pattern again in the future. So the second hack I'm going to do is I am going to actually cut the front skirt piece twice uh, and use them as the front piece and the back piece. And I'm also omitting the patch pockets on the front and the hidden pockets on the side. I feel like I just want to reduce bulk since this is already a really thick cut knit pattern. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my two skirt fronts and I'm actually going to sew those together, right sides together. And I'm gonna pay attention to where the notches are on the skirt pieces because the notches will indicate to me that that is obviously the top part and you don't want to. <laughs> you definitely don't want to sew your skirt pieces the wrong way. I've been there, done that, and um, 
I have the I have the UFO project to prove it. And before I get started on sewing any of the pieces, I definitely want to widen my zigzag stitch just because again, this is a much thicker knit sweater fabric and I want to make sure that I don't jam up my machine while I'm working on it. So for a neater finish, I did go ahead and I surged both sides and now I'm going to move on to my front bodice piece. The front bodice piece does come with darts and I do plan to keep that. Um, I don't want to over complicate the bodice piece, especially since I know that I could be adjusting it later on. And so I am going to link in this video, uh, the video for how to make darts or really my way of making darts with uh, a pattern here. And so I'm going to use my soluble marker and I'm going to make those dart legs. And then I'm going to take it to my machine and I'm going to sew that. And I'm actually going to use a straight stitch for this and I'm going to reduce the stitch length as I hit that dart point at the middle of the bodice there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stay stitch away from my center front and stay stitch away from my center back on my bodice pieces. And then I'm going to take the back bodice and I am going to put those two pieces right sides together and I'm going to take that to my sewing machine and sew it together. Now that we have sewn that together, we are going to put our front pattern piece and our back pattern piece together. And we're going to sew those right sides together on the side. And we are going to take it in as much as we may need to since we are using a woven pattern for knits. You're definitely going to find yourself doing some adjust adjustments on this piece just because if you want your knit to be snug like how I like it, you will find yourself adjusting and readjusting. So next we are going to move on to our sleeve pieces. Make sure you pay attention to those notches and then uh, stay stitch the tops. And then you're gonna take the straight edges and you are going to pin those together. I like to use my wonder clips. And then you're gonna take the curved side and you're going to put those right sides together too. And it makes one full sleeve um, but because this is, a, this is a raglan sleeve, they definitely, um, the pattern calls to sew those two pieces together. So this sleeve, I'm not even going to lie to you, is humongous. And again, I really want this to be super fitted. So I am going to work on making this as fitted as possible. Now, if you're working on making something as fitted as possible, like how I did with the first sleeve here, you have to really take in those sides the back seam to kind of make sure that the mat that the notches still match on that sleeve and on the arm side in the raglan um, shirt so as you can see this sleeve is super snug and that's kind of what i'm going for with this entire look and so thankfully when i did this sleeve i saved the scrap so that way when i work on the second sleeve which i'm about to do i'm able to trace that and it'll literally be symmetrical. So I'm gonna use my soluble marker and I'm gonna trace that piece just so I know that literally both of my sleeves are gonna be equal. And I'm gonna take this to my machine and I'm gonna sew this up and the blue soluble marker line will be my seam allowance line. And as you can see, it's a perfect fit. So at this point, all I'm going to do is cut that excess off. I don't need it anymore, obviously. And then I am going to attach it to the arm side and the rest of the bodice here. And so again, you're going to have a little bit of extra fabric on your bodice just because you had to make some adjustments. It's, it's, it is what it is. And so um, you're gonna sew this together, stretching it just a little bit so that everything matches up. And because it's knit and it's super resistant, 
it really will have a great snapback, especially if you have a good quality knit like this one. Okay, so once we're done pinning here, I'm going to go ahead and take this to my machine and sew all the way around. And I highly recommend that you check for fit as you do this. Um, as you do the bodice, as you do the sleeves, you're going to want to make sure it's as snug as possible. Next thing is we're going to work on the bottom of our skirt. So go ahead and do your two rows of thread. Um, this is how I do my gathering. If you have another way of doing gathering, go ahead and do that. And once we gather and attach our skirt piece we're going to sew that together right sides together and we are almost finished with our project okay and then our final step is finishing our hems with twin needles which i love because it gives it a really professional finish i'm going to go ahead and link that video here for you as well so that way you can see how that's done all right, everyone, so thanks for watching my DIY sweater dress tutorial. If you have any questions about anything, don't forget to check that description box below. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.